banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. I feel like the MSX startup screen needs some music, like a song. The MSX computer! You don't have one, but it's got some cool games. This is Ski Command from Casio, released in 1984, back when Casio made games. So you know this game is water resistant up to 50 meters. <laughs> This entire game reminds me of the ski chase scene at the beginning of View to a Kill, but as you Bond fans know, that came out a year after this game. So, no doubt, Ski Command was inspired by earlier Bond films. I'm, try I'm trying to think of which ones had skiing scenes, a lot of them. On Her Majesty's Secret Service had the awesome uh, bobsled race of death or whatever that was. No, that also had the ski chase scene, because that's the one where the guy flew into the uh, snow machine and got ground up. Oh yeah, that was a good one. No doubt 007 had something to do with this game, which is actually pretty fun and quirky on the MSX computer. I've never heard of it before. It's got great cartridge artwork. Ski Command is pretty straightforward, but it's harder than it looks because you can't let the enemies within like a half mile of, of your guy. You really need to shoot them from a distance or, or stay away from them. And when you jump and shoot, you can blow up the helicopters, which will occasionally drop a parachuting guy. And if you shoot him, you get an extra life. In between each level, there's this fun little bonus round. And uh, here we are in level three. This game gets extremely difficult quickly. It's kind of like Robotron in that at some point, it's just overwhelming, but you can you can easily get extra guys. So just keep stocking up on extra guys if you want to continue playing. See, you you can't let them get anywhere near you, or else you die instantly. I tried knifing them; that doesn't work. MSX James Bond can only shoot enemies from a distance. See that? You want to jump at an angle or else the helicopter will shoot you. Collect the extra guy if you can. And uh, as you might expect from the era, each level just basically continues to add more obstacles. So at some point you may as well take your skis off and just walk. The bonus scene is harder than it looks. Your timing has to be just right, and I love his little jaunty spin move in the air before he starts shooting out the whatever whatever those are built into the side of the mountain. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on in this game, except I like it. I love, I love the Bond inspiration. I like the cartridge artwork. This isn't one that I would add to your must-own list of MSX. Games like Super Ladoc or Scion or Exarian or something, but it but it's fun. And I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to Ahmed from Springfield Gardens, New York once again. Thank you for sending this to the show. If you're like me and find skiing overpriced and boring, then you may as well shoot things while you do it. It's Ski Command for the MSX computer from 1984 by Casio. The same people who brought you watches. They still do, I think. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, book one, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, number one, special edition, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A, A Turbo, Turbo Volcano! volcano.
Starting with Andy and Abby Schleiss. <laughs> Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>